are here. Out in nature we see the large bear uh, porcupine porcupine uh, buffalo. No, buffaloes don't have those uh, tusk things out in their prime. <laughs> <laughs> They're so adorable. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Later, dude! <laughs>I uh, just realized something. Huh. In the, before the update, when you got in a fight and you get out of it, whether you won it or ran away or whatever, you were hurt. Like, if you were hurt, you were hurt. And then you'd have to recover, you know, hit points. And the best way to do it, you'd find out your rock and be like, I'm going to take cover behind it. And while you're taking cover, you're short hit points and MP because that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No. So you would sit there and be like, oh, man, just got out of that fight. I'll just, I guess I'll just sit here for like two minutes. <laughs> uh, no joke and you're like this sucks I'm glad that he's taking cover too that makes me happy I'm glad he understands hey Psst. hey 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 it's like fucking don't, don't, what, what are you doing dude stop I'm getting sneaking. close to my ass <laughs> so oh I found a thing found a thing ah, no not that's up <laughs> run away so, uh, yeah, now, when you get out of a fight, you just recovered uh, full hit points because, you know, they figure you're going to do that anyway. Why was that glowing? Did I just Very see? smart. Good design. Ah, Good job, Butterflies. Guys. Butterflies. Stop playing with the butterflies and sink okay. this goddamn episode. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> I choose this guy. Uh, targeting was also weird. I don't know if they made it any better, but it got really annoying. I also noticed that it's not taking forever to kill opponents. Which is important, because... You can come back here! <laughs> Backflip kick! Ha <laughs> ha! No, I mean, that's one of the more annoying things about older Final Fantasy games, is that it takes, like, half an hour to kill just a run-of-the-mill opponent. That, which is obviously an exaggeration, but... Oh. Hey! They're back. Let's try to fight them this time. Yeah? You're gonna kill them? Do you think Probably if you, not, but I'm gonna try. Do you think if you kill them, then uh, they're gonna stop chasing your your bitch ass? Probably not. There's always more where they came from. Stormtroopers, man. There's there's unlimited. I like that they're trying to kill you with an axe. Yes, and guns. Axe and guns. Axe and guns. Well, at least that that lets us know that there are guns in this world. There's guns in a lot of Final Fantasy worlds, but uh. In most, actually, but uh. But, drain life from you. But very infrequently in the hands of the player party. Yeah, uh, I didn't. I don't think it became big until seven, where they're like, "Hey, one of your characters has a machine gun arm." And you're like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, he's but, not very good, but he's cool." But even after that, there were pretty few instances of characters wielding guns. So that's the other thing about this game is, is like instead of button mashing, I literally just hold on the square and I'll keep attacking. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, which, granted, I at first I was like, that's stupid. But then I thought about it. I was like, it's not like there's a whole lot of skill. I, oh, what did you just do? I really thought for a second that he just stabbed himself and was performing, oh. like, seppuku. Whoa. I just, like, did he just kill himself? I, I don't know, did. man. Because he did, he did that crazy. thing. He threw his flag aside. Yeah, take that. Stupid flag. <laughs> To, to get, cover get back to it. the ah, objective. See what I'm, okay. We're going to have three episodes of us trying to finish this <laughs> side quest. I think this is the objective. No, I think. Is it? Oh, no. You're just going to tell me that there's... God damn it. Oh, wait. Warning. The things you've been killing are in this area. <laughs> just want you to know. Okay, be safe. Jeez, I did go away from the... I think that was a new objective, though. Uh, if you say so. All right, there's a wall up here. I haven't been this way before. So right now I'm getting to explore this because they gave me a separate uh, like objective. What was the point of this, this side quest, by the way? I have no idea. 
I was gonna I say I didn't really look it up to be honest. I feel like we're going quite a ways away from where we were just to do this side quest. Yes. I don't know why they just walked away from me and ended the fight, but that is what happened. Oh wait, uh, no, I totally did go this area. I is it strange that I just had this like urge to make you check both sides of the street before crossing? <laughs> so like you're gonna get hit by a car. Hey, actually you could get hit by a car. Oh no. Oh no. Is it? Oh, well, you know, well, my car's broke down, so it's a good thing I can just be like, hey, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> hey, I'm going to jump over the, this railing but it's, but it's so like that you, you walk can up pass. to every car, and you're like, hey, you sh can I catch a cab with you or whatever? And they're like, no. They Seriously? Don't. No, they, like, they like don't, you can interact you, with them? No, you don't interact. That's uh, the problem. Like, uh, if you at least walked up and they were, like, shaking their head no and they just drove off or whatever, <laughs> I'd totally be okay with that. Instead, they look at you for a quick second, and then the moment you move out of the way, they just keep driving. You're like, well, that's... I, Guys, why yeah. don't you ask for a ride? No, that is pretty frustrating. Okay, so here's something new. I really do wish, though, that the people driving the car just shook their head like, no. No, no. no. And just, like, swerve around you. <laughs> Or just like ran through you, just like hit, like in Mega Man Legends, did like not get most, a fuck, just ran you over. Like in j basically every game that old game that has cars. Oh, okay. So here's a new uh, thing: cross chains. I've never, I don't know what this is. Oh well, guess we get to learn by killing more of these things. Poor little guys. Start trouble with them. <laughs> I like how that's worded. It's like. Obviously, these guys are just peaceful little animals until you fuck around with them and piss them off. <laughs> Hit your spot and execute a cross chain. What does that mean? It, did it just... It said hit your spot? Ah. Oh. Ah. I ah. guess that spot. Okay, now that I'm in here, press triangle. Uh. All right. Okay, so I just press square a lot. Okay, cool. Linking up the allies. Trigger cross chain. Try to execute your cross bones now. Cross bones. Triangle. Right. Triangle. Okay, so you just like hit them a lot and still don't kill them. Well, that was very effective. So I, I guess my question is at what cost does that take? Does so it just take setup, or do you have to spend a lot of MP, or...? I think... I don't... I don't know. Oh, after executing a chain, it will raise its level. So they have a level, too. You're training the, the combos. Ah, I try to execute crossbones 2 now. Already? But I just did the first one. Jeez! I, I'm just gonna, like, walk around and... S don't run away! So did Triangle have a function in combat before this? No. Oh, interesting. Oh, I wonder if your your companions are the ones that enable the, the capability of starting the I, combo. I think so. That's why I just, like, walked around and waited. Oh, I fucked up. Way oh. to do it. Well, damn it. Yeah, no, before, uh, like, I literally, I'm just, like, walking around, and he's just kind of, like, swinging his sword, and I'm like, hey, anytime now. Okay, so that's actually kind of clever, because if, if they are the ones in control of it, then basically during combat, it forces you to keep an eye on your companions in a, in a way that you didn't have to before. Which, uh, that's, I like that. That's kind of smart. Yeah. It's a uh, hell of a lot more interesting than teamwork in most of the other Final Fantasy games. It, uh, it makes it, uh, makes them more relevant, which is good because I actually, uh, my, one, my, one of my complaints, uh, before was that, um, I did not know what any of these characters did. I played through the whole demo, and I have no idea what they did. Is this... No, this you is mean like... I, during I combat? know that this guy has... Yeah, during combat. I know that this guy has a sword, and one of the guys has a gun, and the guy, the dry wit humor guy, like the super like English-ish one, I have no idea what he does. <laughs> I literally have not a fucking clue. He hurts them with words. Maybe I. I, like, I, I was like, your maybe he's a sure magic looks person. Nice tonight. I know that occasionally I would stop the opponent with, um, like the the gun guy, the the younger one that looks like Zadel. He would uh, he would shoot them and stop them. So I was like, okay, he's, he's a time mage. Oh. Uh, no, I did, ah oh crossbones two. Here we go. Boom. Got it. Uh, dang. 
Alright, so... Oh, every time you kill them, you do get items. That's right. I just got a thing. Oh, okay, cool. So, you, there you are. I don't really clear the area. Oh. So you're just killing all of them at this point? So I think what uh, sets it up is that um, he keeps knocking them on the ground, and when they're on the ground, he sets himself up for move. Uh -huh. So that makes me wonder, if you knock them over, will that allow them to initiate the combo? Uh, entirely possible. I think uh, like there are different types of weapons, stuff like that, so... They're, uh, like, he, he, like, I walk, he walked over, like, right, he just kind of, like, walks, saunters over, and I watched him hit one of them, and he just kind of, like, uh, and it just fell over. <laughs> and, like, here I am hitting it, like, a million times, and it's just, like, swinging its tusks at me. Also, dead smile. Oh, you missed it. Aww. Huh, that's pretty cool. I, I like that mechanic a lot, actually. Return to rest point. Oh, Hopefully. God, so... So now that you've completed back. the mission, now you have to walk all the way back. Yeah, but first I'm going to go behind this house, and I'm going to pick up a rusted bit. Oh, yeah, damn bits. <laughs> nope. Is it like a rusted, like, a drill bit? Is that the idea? Why, or is it just like a bit of... Why are you asking of, me, man? I or is it know. like a bit of rusted stuff? Uh, I guess it could be either, really. Uh, uh, the answer to your question lies in a riddle deep within your mind. I don't, I don't have any fucking clue. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so um, this is the thing that has slay all... Oh, kill them in wetlands. That's That seems like a lot. I feel like that's a lot. Does that feel like a lot to you? Yeah, probably. I feel like you probably would like your other companions. Yeah, what is this? Do your, uh, here's a question for you. Do your companions level up? Or... While, while, while I'm gone? I don't know. This is, this is new to me. I have no idea. I don't know. So, okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But they all have their own separate levels, right? Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm the lowest level character in my party. Oh, okay. Which means that they've been adventuring before, and I really haven't. Or at least that's my guess. Because a trend that I've seen in a lot of games like this is that all of your party um, relies on your level. I love so, the shadow, by the way. Did you see that? No, I did not. Look at that. They're actually paying attention to the sun, and the billboard right there is casting that shadow. Oh. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's um, that's actually not easy to do, either. No, I mean, when, when Unity is making a huge deal that it can do that, that is certainly not uh, an easy thing to do. Unity is also doing some crazy stuff. Unity being Unity 3D, by the way, for any of you guys that aren't um, into the game development scene, it's a... It's a very, very useful um, game... Um, toolkit. Tool, yeah, toolkit's a good word to describe it. Um, I'm hesitant to call it an engine because it's Let's not truly an engine. Range. It's more of a platform to develop games off of or with. Um, but yeah, the lighting effects are not easy because it requires a lot of processing. And traditionally, um, lighting is... is It's called... Um, you would bake it into the the art assets, and baking literally just means you'd run some simulation software. It would run some numbers and decide where shadows are supposed to be, and it'll color, color the vertices of the 3D objects to tint it to make it look like it has a shadow. But if you were to change the point in which the light is hitting it, the shadows wouldn't actually change. They've been baked into the actual art itself. Yeah. Um, um, nice so, explanation. Well done. I've, Although we should probably fast forward ahead a little bit because I think I just walked away from the objective point I was supposed <laughs> to go to. I got a little overzealous after killing those things and learning how to cross change that I just like went on ahead. I oh. think I'm supposed to be over here. Okay, so this is a new objective. Oh wait, no, I'm like right here. Or is this the camp? Oh, I know. My wait, we don't have to fast forward. Never mind. Are I you lied. sure we shouldn't go to the camp? It's getting dark out. Psh. We'll be fine. Yeah, all right. I, you're the boss, boss. We're a couple of men with swords. We got this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> were his last words that completed all work and no play. So, you're fixing your car. Is that your car? Uh, yes. And this fancy chick right here, she's the one working on it. Fancy. Yeah. Just Actually, I was going to point out that it's a little 
I'm I'm disappointed that there aren't any female characters in the party. Yep. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't understand why they chose to make that decision, although it does, the, the dynamic is rather interesting before the four guys. Uh, yeah, the, I, see, the, I, I'm conflicted because I really like the dynamic that we're presented with, um, at the same time, I really, really, really hope that they do make good female characters in this game, too. Absolutely, if, if they don't, I will be incredibly disappointed because, for the most part, they all kind of suck. So I can like rest right here. It's going to say, bam, uh, you can go to here instead of going to a campsite. Oh. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can uh, return to rest point and it will oh, bring you me fast back fast travel. To yes. Oh, nice. I was actually going to ask if there was fast traveling and then we kept getting distracted. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a, a, like, a downside to it. Like, you know, oh, the quest you're working on is incomplete or... Uh, I don't, or, you know, I don't know. I have no idea if there's a downside this, or if it was, is just made to be easier. That's fair. I mean, it, it did look like it said something, but it didn't seem very consequential. Yeah, I don't know. Also, this load screen does not look like a Final Fantasy game. This is so weird right now. Good point. I feel like we're playing a, uh, like a farming simulator or, <laughs> or maybe like a... Like goat, in, the goat simulator, he, the goat yeah, comes yeah. out of nowhere, just grabs the truck and just starts running or, away with or, it. Or maybe we're playing like a truck racing game, because those are a thing. <laughs> they, they are. <laughs> okay, so it's still nighttime, so... So shit's about to go down unless you sleep. Although that's actually uh, important to note is that time passed in your fast travel. Yeah, it's much darker now than it was it is. When, before. Oh, so I'm they must have a that. some sort of calculation for distance and fast traveling. Mmm, cool. that two D plane of smoke. <laughs> it's a uh, it's called a billboard particle effect, I think, or maybe just a billboard two uh, uh, D object. I I I'm not totally familiar with those. I think it's not two D. Three D terms. It's, I think it's just a basic cone. No, because see with how you move. Effect see how it moves with the camera. Like as you turn it, it looks like it's changing. Oh, lame. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, so another important thing to point out, story-wise, is this. Like, uh, you'll notice the runes on the ground. Um, this yeah, camp area I, is I, literally safer. Oh. This, these runes I, were carved here so people cannot be attacked while they're sleeping. You know, I'm glad you said something too because when we first got over here, I was like, what the fuck is all over the ground? <laughs> Why is this where we're camping? This does not seem like a good idea. <laughs> Just I get feel struck like by this lightning is, like 10 times. Yeah, like oh. you might get abducted by aliens for all I know. This is like sleeping in a, uh, what are they called? The like imprints in the cornfields. <laughs> I forget what they're called. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the... I, I, I also <laughs> Wow. Are we blanking? Uh, hey, look, we caught up with the others. Yay, uh, now we can Ignis go. Ignis is the... Uh, the Oh, he polished his cookware. Oh, wait, maybe maybe Ignis is the... Uh, the chef? Yeah. <laughs> Bumbled around for a while. Good job. <laughs> that's, that's kind of fun flavor. So is Ignis the dude with the accent? Um, I can never Egg remember. Egg in a basket. That's not an egg in a basket. Not exactly, no. Japanese, but you know what? They don't know what eggs in baskets are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. We're the only two that got experience. Maybe. Find out in a second. Yep. Huh. So that is kind of a downside. Wow, we got a lot of experience, though. Jeez. Holy cow. Well, well at least now uh, you are not the weakest character. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, I like that. We can now do cross chains. Oh man! A boom! You're fresh and sharp. Oh yeah, that theme song. It probably played earlier and I didn't catch it, but I'm happy <laughs> that's that's persisted. Okay, well, uh, more side quests in the next episode, or are we gonna do real things? I think we're ready to do the real thing. Ooh! Clench your butt cheeks, everybody. We're gonna go in to the the main quest. Well, that came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what's happening right now. Well, we'll see you next time in the vomit vibes. Uh, Bye. Bye. What do you have to say for yourself?
Uh... <laughs>